by the Dermatology Associates and Surgery Center. And welcome back, viewers. I'm Shay Paul, and I'm here in the studio with Alex Epperly, physician assistant with Dermatology Associates and Surgery Centers. Uh, you're at the location in Charleston, correct, Alex? That's correct. Well, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Um, I understand with summer fast approaching, things heating up out there, all this, the sunny days we're having, um, you highly recommend that everyone has a full body examination on an annual basis, correct? That is correct. Uh, for any signs of skin cancer. It is correct. All right, and what exactly do you look for in these examinations? So when we're examining patients, uh, we, we look to uh, see if patients have any suspicious or changing lesions. Uh, we, we take inventory of lesions or uh, potential skin cancers uh, and then biopsy any of that are necessary. I see. Um, and what are some of the you know, what are some of the changes? An some of the changes patients for? may have uh, with a concerning lesion, if a, a lesion or a mole is itching, uh, if it's bleeding, if it's painful, if it's growing in size, color, mm -hmm. shape. Gotcha, okay. Um, now, I know that melanoma is the deadliest form of skin cancer. Um, what information can you give us about that? So with melanoma we... and what we look for uh, in patients, we have a mnemonic, it's called the ABCDEs of melanoma. Mm -hmm. So we're looking if a lesion is asymmetric, if it has irregular borders, if it's changing in color, variation in color within the same lesion, if uh, the diameter is larger than six millimeters, and then anything evolving or changing. I see. Now, um, as a redhead with fair skin myself, yes. uh, I I actually do have uh, an examination with my dermatologist every year. Good to hear. Um, but am I the only skin type that needs to worry, or is there anyone who's exempt from getting no, skin cancer? No, you're, you're not the only skin type, so skin cancer doesn't discriminate. You can get skin cancer with any uh, skin color, and so it's important that every patient gets a full body examination on a yearly basis. I see. And so patients at home can also uh, do monthly self-skin examinations. When they get out of the shower or bath, uh, they can take inventory and look at their body, mm -hmm. uh, normally in a mirror, and we have them look kind of head to toe. Um, anywhere you have skin, you can get skin cancer, so it's important right. to look uh, at all of your skin. I see. And it, it, what about age? When, what age do you suggest that, that we start so normally we'll get pediatric referrals uh, from some patients if they have an atypical mole and then we'll monitor those patients. Okay. But if you have a family history or if you have a lot of atypical moles, uh -huh. it's definitely a good idea to get those evaluated on a yearly basis. I see. Okay. And if any of our viewers are concerned or maybe feel that they have a suspicious molar lesion, they can certainly call one of the locations. That's correct. To uh, schedule a consultation. That's correct. And would you like to share the locations? Yeah, so we have multiple different locations throughout the state. Uh, we have uh, one in Charleston, that's the office that I am at. We have them in Beckley, Logan, Princeton, uh, and Martinsburg, Hagerstown, so they're wow. all, all throughout. Right. And Hurricane as well. Hurricane, uh, that's our newest office. Great, yeah. all right. Well, yeah. certainly we have a lot of locations yes, to do. serve our our people. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being with us, Alex. That was very uh, valuable me. information. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> 